Secretary Jewell, uh, wonderful to see you. Um, nice to see you too. Uh, thank you for taking such a big part in the White House Tribal Nations Conference. Um, the theme of the videos that I'm doing in the interviews today are what is the bad news in Indian country and what is the good news in Indian country from your perspective. So however you'd like to address that. All right. Well, it's good to start with the bad news because yes. I think I'd rather end on a note of optimism. Exactly. Uh, there's no question that in the bad news in Indian country is that we've got hundreds of years to make up for of mm. oppression, of uh, people in tribal communities not being valued or respected. And I think that that has manifested itself in multiple generations of young people that have grown up to be older with a sense of, we don't matter. And the good news is, I think we have turned the corner on that mm -hmm. in a very, very significant way. So it was great yesterday morning to greet tribal youth that are here at the Tribal Nations Conference and to sit with them this morning during the opening plenary session. And what you sense in these young people is, Many of them have had a rough road. They've had a really rough road, but they're optimistic about their future, and they're proud of their native heritage. If you look in the rearview mirror, there's a lot of reasons to make the indigenous people of this country not feel proud of that native heritage. I think we've turned a corner yeah. where culture and tradition and language is valued, mm -hmm. and where these young people aspire to share that with others. and and. Um, to get to know each other and to share those cultures and in some ways to blend the cultures in a really positive way. So what I see is a sense of optimism mm -hmm. and I'd say that that is supported by a genuine commitment by the administration to work on a government to government basis with Indian country to recognize that nobody cares more about their people than the tribes themselves and the tribal leaders. So self-determination, self-governance, working together to turn over those things we committed to provide as a U.S. government to tribes mm -hmm. is really beginning to work. I do have one more bad news, good news scenario. Okay. That's great. Bad news, good news, the upcoming administration, we have about four, 400 days or so until the next administration steps in. Well, bad news is uh, we're not going to get everything done that we aspire to get done, okay? <laughs> uh, and, and that's just because we aspire to get a lot done. U.S. government. Yeah, we have done a lot as a U.S. government, working with tribal governments. Good news is this should inspire all of us to take this as a uh, opportunity to just put the pedal to the metal and make sure that the gains that we have made together are inculcated into our relationship. So I'm a political appointee. My job will evaporate when the president's uh, out of his um, position. and. Um, so I won't be here in this same position. But if I can work with our career staff, the career staff at OMB, the career staff at the agencies, the new executive director for the White House Council on Native American Affairs, which is a career position, we can make sure that well below us in the organization there is the kind of commitment that the president has had and his cabinet has had to keeping this going forward. And I'm optimistic we'll be able to do that. Awesome. My bad news, good news is, the bad news is you'll be leaving. The good news is you've done a spectacular job for Indian country. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Vince. And uh, I'll still be a friend of Indian country, no matter what I'm doing next. Awesome. Thank Thanks. you, Secretary. Appreciate it very much.